Have you ever been tempted to do something that you're not supposed to do? Hi kids and welcome to today's Kids Corner. The Bible is God's word for us. It tells us about how much God loves us, so it's good to read from it and to do that often. Today we're going to hear from the good news, the gospel that was written down for us in the Bible by Luke. But before we start, let's do as we always do. Let's fold our hands, close our eyes, and bow our heads and pray. Lord God, please help us to learn today and especially keep your word in our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. We've all been tempted to do things that are sinful. There are days where we want to stay up when our parents tell us that it's bedtime or times where we sneak a cookie or something without asking. That's not really honoring our parents' rules. Um, that's, that's breaking God's fourth commandment. The word says. Sometimes we forget that there's loving God watching over us and we sin against him too. We love ourselves more than him and choose to watch cartoons or just plain ordinary sleep in instead of going to Sunday school so that we can learn about how much Jesus loves us. So as we struggle with temptation, God helps us. He comes to us with the help of Jesus and the Holy Spirit to Help us to remember that we're never alone, even when we are tempted. God's word tells us that Jesus was tempted. Satan tried to lead him to make bread out of a stone when he was really hungry. If you're God, you can do that, Satan said. Satan tempted Jesus by offering him the whole world. Worship me instead of God, Satan said, and I'll give you this whole world as your own. You can have it as your kingdom. Finally, Satan tempted Jesus to show off by jumping off of the highest peak of the tallest part of the temple. If you really are the Son of God, you won't get hurt because God will protect you. But Jesus didn't bow down to any of those temptations at all. Jesus instead loved God. And he used God's word against Satan. And Satan lost. And it's a good thing too, because Jesus had to be sinless. He had to not have any sin at all tied to his name. You see, only one who, only someone who was without sin could die for our forgiveness. And Jesus only had one life to give up, so he had to keep it perfectly so that each one of us would be saved. We will still sin, but through Jesus, we have forgiveness. Now, does that mean that we should keep on sinning? No. That means that we should love God all the more and praise him for being with us and ask that he helps us, that we are not led into temptation, but that we instead look to him and trust in Jesus' name. Oh, well, it's time to pray. And this time you can repeat after me. And remember when we pray, we fold our hands, close our eyes, and we bow our heads and we say this. Thank you, God, for helping me to believe in Jesus' name. And all the people say amen. If you want to know more about Jesus, you can read all about his life, death, and resurrection in the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. You can also look up and read about how Jesus was tempted by Satan. That part is in Luke 4, verses 1 through 14. Our in-person Sunday school classes are up and running again, so if you like learning about Jesus and having fun doing crafts, that's the place to be. If you can't make it to church because you're sick or you are stuck at home, we'll still have these lesson videos available for you to, uh, for you to enjoy, along with those really awesome activity sheets. To print off an activity sheet, all you have to do is click on the picture beside this video and that'll take you to our website's members section. Remember to get in, you'll have to type in that secret passcode GLC2022, that's GLC like Grace Lutheran Church, and then 2022 like the year, no capitals, no spaces, just GLC2022. When you type that in and hit enter, you should see a, a pop-up at the top of the page that says you've done everything correctly, just hit OK, and you'll go right to that page for downloading. Remember to be polite and ask if it's okay to download stuff and print things out before you start. 
And it's really important to ask for help if you can't do any of that on your own. Well, that's it for this week. God bless your day and the days ahead, and I'll look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. Amen. And amen.